Hi, I'm Liz Pierce, and I want to give you a little bit more explanation, detail about Bronfenbrenner's ecological systems theory than you have in your textbook. I'm going to use this image that's openly licensed. I do want to point out it's missing one of the systems. At some point, I'm going to get in there and make a new version and openly license it. So to start with, when we look at Bronfenbrenner's theory, we look at the individual as being this person in place, so person in their environment. And then these circles are going out to describe and, uh, the layers of the person's environment. And the first layer is the microsystem. And think about this as the place where, if you're using yourself as an example, the place you go every day. So who are the people you see every day? Where are the places you go every day? Um, school, your family, your closest friends, your workplace, maybe your church, your your place of worship, uh, but maybe not. It's the places. It's a, wherever that individual spends goes almost every day, and it's really the most important and closest and most frequent system. Now I'm going to actually skip out to the exosystem. Notice there's nothing in that mesosystem. I'm going to come back and explain it, but I'm going to go out to the exosystem. This is your next layer of environment. So for some, so for some of us, the place of worship might be out in this area. Maybe your neighborhood, if you hang out with folks in the neighborhood. Maybe you uh, are part of a volunteer group or a choir or a political group, uh, something that influences your life, but maybe not as much on a daily basis. Now, the way to think about the meso system is how do those two systems, micro and exo, really work together? Do they coordinate? Do they complement each other? Do they help each other? When I'm talking to students, one of the things I like to ask you is, how does your workplace work with you in terms of your um, schooling? Are they willing to work around your classes? I'm recording this in the time of COVID. Think about how are your systems working together? There's so many more challenges individuals are facing. So you, if you're a parent um, schooling children at home, how is that system interlapping with your um, LBCC or your place of worship or your workplace or any of your other activities that you're doing. So think about the meso system. This is like, how do these systems work together? And obviously the better they work together is gonna to benefit that individual in the middle. Now, the macro system, very interesting. So this is kind of like, what is the culture that we're immersed in? Uh, what are the values? What are the ideas? And there may be multiple ones of these for you. So uh, again, there might be a culture within your town that you live in, but that might be a little different than say the college, the culture of the college or the culture of your place of worship or the culture of the whole country. So the, the macro system are the systems that are bigger than you that influence you. And sometimes you're in congruence with those cultural values and ideologies. And sometimes they are different than what your own cultural ideologies are. But still, you're in them and they're, they're a part of you. They influence you. And then the one that's not circle there, but should be, is the chrono system, so another super interesting system. This is about location in time and place. So what are the really, let's talk about time. Oh my gosh, what a time we're living in right now. Be easy to name several big events, trends, the pandemic, um, big events that affect us during a certain time. And depending on our age at that time and what we're doing in life, those, those big events affect us differently. And then where we are, so geographically where we are, how do those things affect us? So for example, lots of people have lost health insurance and jobs currently. Well, geographically, uh, in some states, it's easier to access um, government health insurance based on how, whether the, whether the states have expanded their Medicaid as allowed it under the Affordable Care Act. So that's just an example of how geography affects some of um, what families and individuals experience. So time and place. 
And uh, so take some time to think about it, apply it to your own life. What have you observed, et cetera, and think about what, do, how do you think about this theory?